Hello there. Uh, welcome back to uh, Let's Play Sid Meier's uh, Colonization. Uh, this is part five. Uh, once again, like the last part, uh, I've not been really keeping to a schedule. The first time I've really felt like recording. Uh, and like last time, I have no recollection of what's going on except in the simplest of terms, that being that the Dutch are still being pains in my backside, and that I was trying to, uh, expand a bit. Not remembering exactly how I was going to expand, but anyway. Uh, one of those things which I do remember just from seeing the screen here was I was going to send this caravel, caravel with lumber to Quebec. I didn't have a full load of anything to ship, but we'll go ahead and we'll ship the cotton and come back for the tobacco. I'm thinking about it. This caravel up here has a full load of cotton. A load and a half, actually. So what we'll do is let's, um... That's right, I was waiting for another... Another fisherman so I can actually work on the... Um... Tobacco making? Is that what this... Is that what you are? Yeah, that's right. I was going to send the, get the tobacco from Montreal to Quebec to make cigars. That's right. But I need more food, because right now I'm a bit scarce on food. Okay, so let's go ahead and load up this caravel with our furs and our cloth. And we'll send you off to um, France to get some more cash money. And you were exploring around here. Okay. A colonist outside, which we can't really do much. Was I gonna send you, I was gonna send, oh that's right, I was gonna send you down to um, Montreal after you got a profession. So we will actually uh, censure you. Got nothing to really trade, so you've got to stay put, and that's that. Now in the 17th century, so uh, we get two turns per year, so the spring and the fall. Hopefully the Dutch aren't going to be enormous pains in my backside. But you never quite know. You're the one that started the war. Why are you set why are you displeased with us? You started the war, why are you why are you mad at why are you mad at us? Seriously, what is your beef? What is the beef? Where is the beef? You know what, I'm, while I'm thinking about this, uh, that pissed me off enough that, you know what, Dragoon, we are going to kick some ass. Why? Because you have annoyed me, and you continue to annoy me. Oh, fuck you, you missionary sneaking around. Oh. Hello, the natives are killing the English, thank goodness. Can you kill some more English? And you are now fortified on that square. Lovely. Okay, you've got two, at least two units of soldiers, and we can't see what's at New Amsterdam. Okay. So the caravel... We're not going to send anything down. We're just going to send the caravel by itself. Actually, it's wait, because if the Dragoons are still sentry, that would be bad. You stay. You are not sentried. Now. Uh, 
Now that's a hill, isn't it? That's a prairie. Okay. Okay. They are fortified, but they're fortified in the open. Well, that didn't go so well. The Spanish are killing the natives, nothing new there. And muskets are already at nine. Already at nine. And you're just a free colonist. Yeah, we need. No, no. We need another fisherman ASAP. If we're going to achieve anything with these. Oh, come on! Why is the king being such a. I have a strong feeling I'm going to lose this game. I'm not sure I'm going to enjoy it, but, uh, that seems to be the way the things are going. Oh, come on! Where did you come from? Yeah, I'm fucked. Because now I've got no defenders. He's got... the colony, load the tobacco. Buy the stockade. Buy the stockade and get your ass to Mars. We don't have enough tools for anything. I mean, we have the stockade, but as soon as they beat the stockade... And since I'm on... Since I'm past 1600, if I lose all... If I lose both my colonies, it's game over, because... Uh, that's the drop-dead date for restarting if you lose your colonies. It's either it's 1650, but I think it's 1600 is the last date that you can start fresh. Wow. I did not expect that. The fur trapper being a Dutch dragoon. And the fisherman so we lost Montreal, and Quebec is in serious danger. I honestly thought I was dead there. Okay, zoom the colony and we'll buy the tools for nearly all of our gold. Yeah, this could be a much shorter video than uh, I was anticipating. Uh, if nothing else, this could serve as a, uh, here's what you do not do on this difficulty level, uh, sort of thing. If I do this game again, I'll probably do it on, um, uh, Explorer difficulty, which is the one step, the, the, the one step below this. Because it seems as though, you know, uh, things are not looking well for me. And there they go. Oh! <sighs> you must be... On this difficulty, I found out that the AI is incredibly aggressive. Much more aggressive than they are on the lower difficulty levels. 
Uh, and that's the game. They got my wagon train. They downed my caravel. They took Quebec. Yep. We have decided to remove you as Viceroy. You may, as always, kiss our royal pinky ring. Um, at least I'm glad that this isn't... Uh, that I'm not Japanese and would feel compelled to atone for my failures with my life? At least I'm glad that he is um, letting me live? But that's a very small consolation to the fact that, uh, uh, as you can see, we have failed at our task to colonize the New World, mainly because Dutch wanted to be assholes about the whole damn thing. Oh well. Uh, yeah, this is actually the first game of uh, colonization I have actually lost. Uh, I played colonization a fair bit, but I've either completed the game, I think I've done, there's three or four games I've completed where I've gotten bored or I've lost interest midway through, particularly around the 1650s, 1700s, where it just becomes a huge micromanaging mess. Uh, but this is the first game that I've actually lost of Sid Meier's colonization. Uh, and as I said, this is the first game that I played on the Conquistador difficulty, so that may have something to do with it. So, yes. We have failed. Our total score was 50. And... 1% colonization ring, and the citizens of New France named me after a fly. A stinging fly at that. You can see above uh, the game I had played uh, on the easiest difficulty to discover, and one uh, beyond handily. But well, yes. Oh, okay. I didn't think it would just quit. To I didn't think it would just quit. Uh, I, I guess in DOS it would actually um, go to the DOS prompt. It would exit to DOS. I didn't think it would do that. I thought it would go back to the uh, main title. Uh, so, um, yeah, uh, that was um, Let's Play Sid Meier's Colonization. Uh, I might try playing this game again on a lower difficulty or try Conquistador difficulty again uh, in a slightly different, uh, way, or, uh, who knows, I might try to play something completely different, uh, <laughs> but yeah, um, uh, yeah, uh, I failed, and I feel ashamed of my failure, so I should stop rambling and let you get on with the rest of your days or evenings or whatever time it is where you are, so yeah, I am the Twisted Mentat, this was, uh, Let's play Sid Meier's Colonization, and until I uh, play more of this, or need a different game, uh, thank you all for watching, and uh, I'll see you later.